What's up guys? Um, I just wanted to start this video out by saying this is the 100th episode of me vlogging. I've vlogged every single day for the past 100 days. I'm honored that you guys have stuck around and been with me on this journey. I'm sure if you go back and watch the very first couple of vlogs versus recent vlogs, you'll notice that I've finally been able to sit within my own style. Sure, I take little things from here and there, but I adapt them and make them my own. I'm trying to stand out as a different vlogger on YouTube versus trying to be a carbon copy like a lot of vloggers on YouTube are currently doing. With reaching 100 episodes, I have officially passed in episode counting shows such as Arrested Development, Saved by the Bell, The Munsters, Gilligan's Island, Sopranos, Prison Break, and True Blood, just to name a few. That's not saying that my content is better. All that means is every single day I get up and I go to work for you guys. I have a regular job, I work an eight to five job, but when I get off, the camera comes on and I film content for you guys. With seeing 100 straight days, I just hope you guys realize that I have the consistency to back it up. If you guys are looking for a place to see vlogs on a daily basis and, you're, and you don't want to worry about whether or not the person is going to post on a regular basis and every single day and you want to have regular content coming to you, this is the place for you. Every single day I put out a vlog and it's going to stay that way for a long time. Yes, I do have a baby coming, however, I've made arrangements to possibly have an editor for that so I can still film my day and then send my stuff to an editor to have the video still edited so I cannot miss a single day for you guys. All I'm asking you to do today in order to help me out, if you know anybody that enjoys YouTube videos or vlogs but they're constantly looking for that new person that puts out content on a regular basis, share my channel with them. Let them know I do videos every single day and I will never let them down. Thank you guys for everything that you do for me. I appreciate it. On to the next hundred. Hey man, just wanted to say uh, congratulations on the 100th uh, consecutive day of vlogging. Um, real proud of you, man. Um, very happy to have been part of some of those vlogs. Uh, and hope to be more part of more in the future and you know I can't wait to see where you go with this and uh, I know you're gonna be a big YouTube star or something someday but uh, keep it up man and uh, great job hi Seabolt I just wanted to say congrats on sticking with the channel for 100 days that's a pretty big accomplishment and I wanted to say that I really enjoy it because I miss you guys and it's nice to kind of feel like I'm there by watching the channel and like staying up to date on what's going on with you all. So keep it up. Bye. Magic, you did it. 100 vlogs. Holy crap. Can't imagine filming myself for 100 days. Nobody would watch it, but you, you did it. Proud of you. You're the man. Keep it up. Keep chasing the dream. Love you. Bye-bye. Congrats on 100. And this is Raymond. I uh, just want to let you know uh, I've been watching your videos for a very long time. And uh, congratulations on your 100th episode. Very awesome. Hope to see 100 more. Bye. What's up, Jonathan? And congratulations on your 100th consecutive daily vlog. My wife and I watch them every single day. We find them fun and entertaining. And it's like hanging out with you all day, which is very cool. You're one of my closest friends, so I wish you all the best. And until next time, have a good one. So right now, I'm on my way to pick up my sister. I got some... Good but sad news this morning. Today is her last day in Bluefield. Her apartment, all that issue uh, is fixed and she goes down tomorrow. She's leaving tomorrow morning at like 8 o'clock in the morning, 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning to go to Fredericksburg. So I'm going to take her out one last time, just hang out with her for a little bit um, just to see her before she leaves. I was just going to interject. You made it sound like she's dying. Take her out one last time. Well, I mean, before I said before she leaves. Any feelings on the last day in Bluefield? It's just kind of weird.
it's like I've been waiting for it for so long, and then now it's finally now happening. it's here. Yep. Gosh, there's so many yep. things happening. And then you guys don't like mushrooms. It'd probably be but... good. I'm a big fan of spinach, though. I wonder. Do you like mushrooms? Do you want to try that without the balsamic, and we could just get the mushrooms on half instead of getting a meat lovers? You can. Do you think you would like that? Will uh, you try it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We ready? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna do two medium, the two medium pizza deal. And um, can I get one uh, thin crust uh, pepperoni lovers? And then can I get one as this bacon spinach Alfredo without the balsamic? Drizzle. Drizzle stuff. And then mushrooms on half. And of then that. can I add mushrooms to half? Of it, it? it already has it, so you need to remove mushrooms from half. Our waitress just thought that Tracy, whom I'm not allowed to show her face, is sisters with my sister. Do you guys remember what Tracy looks like? If so, does she look like this girl? Does she look like you? I, mean, I could probably see I it. Could see I, don't, yes. I don't. That makes me feel weird. I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's alright. Do you want this or you want to wait on the other? I what? have to turn it around and the pizza popped out the <laughs> Fun. Yeah. You don't you don't have to make a whole new pizza for that. Are you sure? Because yeah. I got them put with Nike on. No, no, I mean it's it's like really five. fun. It's I mean because we're not gonna eat all that anyway. Yeah. I definitely appreciate the offer, but there's really there's no reason at all to do a whole another pizza because she dropped one all piece. Right. Really dude? Maybe she just needed lunch and she that was the way to get it. I really don't care. <laughs> I'm sure that's what it was. Got a sweet spider visitor for dinner. He's just hanging out over there. Just chilling. You'll we'll have to come up Pizzas. there. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you're good. You'll have to come up there so I can buy you all food. I'm Heck yeah. Pizza was good. Amanda, how was your last supper? <laughs> he keeps talking like you're dying. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going your last to one in Bluefield. Very good. Earlier he was like, he was like, I'm gonna go see my sister for the last time. I was like, she's not. I dying. said no, 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 no. I said the last time before she leaves. You didn't say that at one point. You just oh, said for the last time. No, that's. I'm pretty positive. <laughs> you didn't. Go As a matter of fact, listen. I'll put on the screen right now if I did or didn't. <laughs> you had mentioned before she was leaving, but then you were like, so we're gonna go out one last time. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what we're doing now. Something. So, we'll find out. Let's see. Uh, boxes behind these yoga mats. Let me get it. I get this weird cute thing. Like this little mark five thing. It's like a roll. What's up, Pop? <laughs> Not on. Here you go, Amanda. I bring you gifts of kitchen equipment. You may set it on the table. Yes, please. Jonathan. There you go. I'm gonna go change the thing. Okay. So feel free to look through. You have a notebook. And, uh, huh? You have a notebook. In here. In here? Okay. I need a piece of paper. Those are actually cool. I kind of want to want some of these. Little... You can have those if you want them. I bought those. Like, those weren't meant to be in that box, but if you want them, you can have them. <laughs> I bought them like, at Etsy like three or four years ago because I wanted to make like some little terrariums with like succulent plants in them. Right. And I could never find ones that were like the right size, so I just got away with it and gave it up. So if you think you'll use those, you can turn them around. Yeah. You can hang them up and stuff too. Yeah. Of course, I guess it's good to change them out. Those just need washed, but those are those are actually for the like George Foreman. Oh. Yeah. Those are they just need washed. Where they've been in the closet for like two years. <laughs> what kind of nonsense? Why do we have. I, that's what I said. I don't know why those are in that box. We have straighteners <laughs> in a box with kitchen supplies. That's awesome. It's like a pizza. Hey, Trey. I'm going to take Amanda home. Okay. Be back. Huh? Amanda, be careful tomorrow. I will. I'll text you. I'll let you know what's going on. Yeah, send us some pictures. I will. Thanks for everything. You're welcome. We'll see you this weekend, probably. Yeah. yeah, probably. She's possibly coming back in because apparently, what was it? You had the opportunity to win a car? Mm -hmm. For giving blood. 
they randomly picked five people and I was one of the five people. So they're going to give me a key and see if it works. So there you go. She might be coming in this weekend because she may have the possibility of winning a car. <laughs> that would be an awesome vlog. Hopefully that will happen. So I'm going to run her home and uh, I don't know, probably start wrapping up this day 100. Vincent, we made it 100 days. Tell the people thank you for watching. Tell them you'll see them tomorrow. Bob, hey, we made it 100 days, buddy. Tell everybody thank you. Tell them thank you and that you're going to bed. Guys, I'm sitting here editing the video from today. Again, I'm going to end it here. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Made it an easy 100 days with the way that you guys interact and stuff, and it means the world to me. I will see you guys on number 101.